Hi, you didn't see me there. You know why? Because I'm Ted Bear. If you want to survive like me, you've got to have a sharp wit, endurance, good looks, and a backpack full of ingenuity. I've got mine on both straps. Try and keep up. Here's the scenario. You're on an international flight, and the best has gone dodgy. Perhaps an albatross with poor eyesight has confused your plane engine for a mate and smacks right into it. Macking up your once snug commute to a spiralling disaster catastrophe. Luckily, you've left your tray table up, and now you're the only survivor, stuck in some godforsaken jungle. It's cold, it's muddy, it's wet, it's hot, it's inconvenient, and it's a bugger out of the way. Now, the first thing you gotta do is get a sense of direction. A good strategy is to find the nearest river and follow it. After a while, all the walking will leave you bleed naked. You need to find a source of food, because food means carbohydrates. Carbohydrates mean energy. Energy means movement. Movement means survival. Luckily, there are bounties of food in the wilderness. You've just got to know where to look. <gasps> bacon! We must be underneath a bacon tree! Now, some of these aren't quite ready. You need to climb higher to find the crispy ones. Ah, now there's a nice ripe strip. You've got yourself a quarter of a complete breakfast right there. Time to keep moving. Try and keep up. Now, we need to find some refreshments to wash it down. Ah, now what do we have here? Now, it's very crucial to reach all the way in the back to get the freshest milk. Always, always, always check the expiration date on the back. It's imperative to your survival. Ah, just my luck. Chocolate chip muffins. Raisins. Here we are on some desert island, conceivably in the middle of the ocean. Without a map, we can't be sure. What we do know is that our body needs water. Not so fast, mate. This is salt water. We need to filter it into something more drinkable. And now the fruit fish turns salt water into delicious, drinkable punch. First, you need to find the fruit appendage. <laughs> <sighs> now you're probably thinking, Dad, there's no such thing as a fruit fish. Well, you're right. It's actually a crustacean. Yeah, the, the trick to uh, surviving on a, on a mountain, <sighs> it's, uh, it's hard to catch your breath at this elevation. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna... Mm.